I actually think this is one of the most important videos I can make. Where am I being faithful to Don Beck's classic Spiral Dynamics? First things first is everything Don Beck teaches is based on Claire Graves. Claire Graves did not have such an organized and colorful format. It was just letters and, and lines, basically. There are not many graphs, if any, and it was difficult to comprehend. What Don Beck did was he put it in a understandable format called Spiral Dynamics, where it's color-coded, it's interesting, but most importantly, it shows you that there is a progression through the stages uh, in a linear, in somewhat of a linear way. Now, this is not entirely accurate because there is a component that leaves a room open in passing that it's not linear. And what is that component? Um, that the colors themselves, they fade and they move into something else. So it's like this. Pretend you have a balloon of water. One side closes, the other side opens. So that kind of way of viewing it, like the colors start to dissolve and then get more bright as you enter other areas, that was, or is, a perspective that's hinted in his model. And when I teach, I'm generally um, teaching with that framework. Now, is what I teach spiral dynamics? Because people may wonder, Don Beck teaches one thing, you teach another. So what we're all trying to do here is we're all agreeing on one thing. Human beings evolve. So we're all in agreement. That's spiral dynamics. They're just offshoots in terms of how to understand that. It's generally minutia. And what Ken Wilbur was trying to do was trying to unify all angles to make sense out of the complexities that don't add up sometimes. And what I try to do is I try to resolve the contradiction between the linear world and the nonlinear world. And that's why I'm starting to create a 4D model to see how that's functioning, to see why there's complexity and why divergence takes place in the human psyche and to see how else that connects. If someone diverges, is it mental illness or is it just a particular way that a person is functioning in a given circumstance? So it has nothing to do with mental illness and possibly with a 4D chart, mental illness will go away. I'm sure Ken Wilber applies that to his four quadrants, but I think the 4D O model is gonna be even more comprehensive, more specific than uh, Ken Wilber's uh, four quadrants, more applicable even, and more entertaining, more in interesting especially as we improve the technologies that we have. So the main facet that I'm being uh, loyal, if you want to call it, because the real, the real loyalty you're being is towards uh, Claire Graves, who wanted to know how we're evolving because he knows intuitively that there's a pattern and that we are evolving. And, but the main thing I'm being faithful in terms of Don Beck's lens is the gradual progression through some sort of linear color, coloration. And I am, I'm pretty much loyal to that. I think I'm loyal to that on several, in several ways. And one of the main ways is that I never forget the linear model, even though I have a nonlinear way of viewing reality, of viewing evolution, of viewing the mind. Um, yeah, I think, I think that covers it.